Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Bonky Cook here, aka the Lonely Achievement God, and I am coming at you today with another achievement guide for an achievement in MLB The Show 21. Today we are going to be looking at the I'm Walking Here achievement for 40 Gamer Score, which is for recording eight or more team walks within a single game. You cannot do this in local multiplayer, in practice, or by switching teams. So, there are four different ways to go about doing this. I am going to show you one using the exhibition mode and uh, a ton of prep. You are going to be using sliders and attributes in your favor quite a bit. Um, what we're going to do is go through the settings, make sure all the settings are our way, and we are going to manipulate some pictures before we jump into the game. Uh, before I do that, I wanted to touch on the other three potential solutions for this. There are three other ways I recommend you take a look at, uh, just on the off chance you want to do them. So, at the moment, there is a rumor going around that you can hop into a ranked uh, online multiplayer game and just intentionally walk your opponent eight times, and that unlocks the achievement somehow. Uh, I can't confirm or deny that, but I have seen that mentioned. The second option is to find a legitimate boosting partner online. You can do it through your friends list or through Diamond Dynasty and play with each other and trade the achievements with uh, eight intentional or real walks, however you want to do it. The third method is the method I recommend for most of these random achievements is to first play through Road to the Show mode and the March to October mode. I actually stumbled upon this achievement in the Road to or March to October mode, excuse me. So uh, there is a possibility that you will get a game with eight team walks while you are going through those other modes, and you don't want to miss out on that possibility. Might as well, you have to play them anyways, so maybe you'll knock out two achievements with one uh, season. And the final option is the one I'm going to be showing you today. Now, before I go any further, I do want to say, just like the other video I did uh, for the free ticket to first and work that count achievements, I am going to be uh, using a solution that I found on TrueAchievements.com by a username of oh excuse me I actually Exotic Colors 99 and I will drop the link to their uh, to the achievement and the page that has their solution so you can give it an upvote if you are a member. But uh, I do want to point out the solution did not work for me initially, but I was able to alter it in my own way to make it work very well. And I will drop the link to the other video that I did for those achievements showing that off. We are going to be using that same, uh, that same style of play in attempting to bunt and get the pitcher to throw the ball elsewhere. But first, what we're going to do is go in and alter some settings. So go into settings, go to gameplay, make sure your batting difficulty is on all-star, the pitching can still be on beginner, and the gameplay style should be casual. If you have changed that, you will be asked to apply that when you back out. And then go to settings and sliders, and I am going to scroll slowly so you can pause the video and uh, emulate my settings. The only ones that should be different for you are the fastball and off-speed pitch speed. I prefer faster pitches. You may want something slower and that is fine. Uh, feel free to lower your pitch speed. I've just been playing the game for 15 years and uh, I've gotten used to the pitches coming in quickly. So just go all the way through and follow exactly what my sliders are. Then press A and hit OK a couple times to confirm those sliders. And now we are going to the little bit of the time-consuming portion. So you're going to go to Create and go to Edit Player. Um, whatever team you are going to use, uh, feel free to ignore. You don't have to change their settings, but we are going to be playing against the Colorado Rockies, and so we are going to be uh, handicapping their pitchers quite a bit. So what we are going to do is go to each pitcher, and I've already done this uh, uh, 
uh, in for my other video, but we are going to drop their walks per nine innings all the way down to zero. We are also going to go up and drop their stamina all the way down to zero. Now, this is only important for the starting pitchers. So when you go to the Colorado Rockies roster, hit right bumper to get to the starting pitchers. Any starting pitcher that has the MLB as their league you're going to want to edit the player, go down to attributes, and change their stamina and their walks per nine innings to zero. Now the reason we are doing this is because I've done this achievement, uh, I tried to record this achievement a couple of times, and the pitcher that I started out with was uh, walking everyone in the first inning. Like, uh, I got four walks and a hit by pitch in the first inning. And after the first inning, the pitcher kind of settled in, and I feel like there may be a uh, uh, some sort of, like, pitch uh, confidence meter for the uh, computer. And so if our stamina is all the way down, they won't be able to stay in the game as long to get their confidence built up which means they will most likely change pitchers to another pitcher that doesn't have a lot of confidence in their pitches. So just make sure you don't need to do this for all the relievers uh, going through the stamina, but you do want to do it for all the starting pitchers. And just make sure the walks per nine are down. Um, I prefer having Herman uh, Marquez as the starter. So we're going to go into John Gray here. And we're going to drop his attributes a little more just so that his overall rating drops below Herman. Herman's given me the best uh, result as a starting pitcher. So as you can see, he is now the highest ranked of the five Major League Baseball starting pitchers for the Colorado Rockies. You are now going to right bumper and you will see relief pitchers and closing pitchers. I have already changed the... Uh, walks per nine for all of them, but you will do the same thing for each of them. Go to, into the attributes and go down to walks per nine and change them. Relief pitchers don't have a high stamina meter, so we are not going to be changing them. And the same thing for the single Major League Baseball uh, closing pitcher for the Rockies. Make sure you go in and change their walks to nine, per nine innings to zero. Once you have done that, you can back out and uh, save your roster as whatever you want. I know this is quite a bit of prep to do, but this achievement is a uh, pain in the butt. So we are set now. We are going to head to exhibition mode. We are going to be the Rockies at home versus the Dodgers on the road. Hit A to select the Dodgers. Hit A to select whatever uniform and stadium you want. Make sure fast play is the presentation mode and you are playing nine innings. Uh, I do recommend turning off the extra inning runner, although it might not ever come into effect. On the off chance you get to extra innings and still need one or two um, walks, the extra inning runner makes it a lot easier to score runs in extra innings so the game may end faster. In all honesty, you'll probably never get to extra innings, but it's best to prepare for that scenario on the off chance it happens. And I like to play in the rain, so that's completely personal preference. You can pitch or pick whatever pitcher you want. Uh, pitching is going to happen, but it's not really that important. You can give up as many runs as you want. The lineup does not matter as well at this point, so just press start and we will jump into the game. And what we are going to be doing is holding down the Y button in every at-bat until the strike zone disappears. So go ahead and skip this and press Y. We will square up to bunt until the strike zone disappears and then we will hold back and the pitch will go all over the place. And this is the same way you would get the uh, uh, 
uh, free, what was it, free pass to first, and I can't remember what the other two walk achievements were, but this is the same way you would do those. As you can see, we drew a walk to lead off the inning. That would be that the uh, free pass to first achievement, I believe. And we are going to continue to do the same thing. Bunt until the strike zone goes away and then pull back. I think what happens, and I think I may have mentioned this earlier, is that good pitchers, when they see a... Uh, uh, in Major League Baseball, when they see someone bunt like that, they are trying to make the hitter offer at a pitch that is bad. So they tend to think, I'm going to throw this pitch outside of the strike zone and see if they'll offer at it. Now that doesn't always happen. Again, this is very inconsistent. This game has been around for, you know, 20 some years now. Uh, it wasn't called the show like 2004 I think but one one. there is a lot of effort put into the simulation aspect so there is nothing I can do that specifically causes the uh, pitcher to throw balls but I have noticed that this this has been significantly better at it yeah. than the other ways I was doing things Nope. And again, like I said, this isn't exact. You may have to do this Ball, that's out. a couple of times to uh, get to your eight walks. That's ball four. We got two now. It's just impossible to predict how the AI is going to react. But uh, in the first time I tried this, I got four walks in the first inning, and we're already at two here. So one and one. Ball, that's off the plate. Aye. Three and two. Ball four. Take your There's three walks. Uh, if you do get to a full count and you're comfortable uh, knowing where the pitch may go, feel free to swing. Um, because if it's going to be a strike, you're going to be out anyways. And as you can see here, he's uh, started throwing strikes again. Oh, that's just out. The count is full. Three and two. Another full count. We're making him work. Ball four. Take and there's our fourth walk. See if we can't coax another one out of him. Off the plate, ball one. Now, just to make a note here, um, I went through the entire game and I saw less balls than I have just in this video on the beginner difficulties. Like, I don't know what all contributes to making the AI throw balls. But clearly, when you ramp up the difficulty, the AI is much more likely to throw you balls. Okay, we are down to a full count. So again, if you are comfortable uh, with where the ball is going, as you can see, that was going to be a strike. And I was able to follow it off, so I'll get another pitch. 
This could also get you the 10 pitches and one at bat achievement if you're good at it, but uh, we coaxed another walkout. That is five now. And we have him up to 40 pitches in the first inning. Looks like he uh, decided he was unhappy with throwing balls. I got the count one and two. I got the count two and two. And that was going to be a strike, so I swung at it, and I blasted it out of the park. Whoops. <laughs> so, we're up to the pitcher. We have batted around in the first inning with nine, uh, excuse me, five walks. And we're hoping to get a few more, because we need to get to eight throughout the entire game. Kind of surprised they left the pitcher in, being honest. There's 3-0. Oh. And there is a sixth walk. So we already have six walks in the first inning. And once you get to two strikes, it uh, again, you got to rely on your eye. That was going to be a strike, so I swung at it. But I think we're going to make it out and end the inning. So uh, just for reference, if you go to pause the game, go to stats, and go to the box score, uh, go to the Dodgers side of things, and check the double B column. That is how many walks you have. So as you can see, we have six and we need to get to eight for the achievement to unlock. So now that you're pitching, just do whatever you want. Your goal here is just to get them out and move on to the next inning for your offense. Now, the reason we turned down the stamina for pitchers is because uh, we made Herman Marquez throw almost 50 pitches, if not more than that, in the first inning, which means he's probably not going to last more than another inning, even if he started to gain confidence in his pitches, which means they will bring in a different pitcher who will not have any confidence and will hopefully be just as wild as Herman was in that first inning. And that is the goal of the sliders and attributes we have set up. Two strikes. Okay, we are, yep, they replaced the pitcher, so we are back to bunting again. That was right down the middle. What the heck was that? <laughs> Oh, come on, I held up there. Ball in. So you're just going to continue doing the bunt method, hoping that you can draw another few walks from the relievers. And when it gets to two strikes, then trust your eye and try to foul off some pitches to prolong the at-bat. Two balls, two strikes. Count is three and two. I 
I wasn't sure about that one. That was pretty close, and umpires are sometimes terrible, so didn't want to let it go. There we go. There is our seventh walk. We only need one more. That's a ball. Counts one and oh. That was a strike, and he called it a ball, so hey, thanks, umpire. And there is ball four. Ladies and gentlemen, there is our achievement for getting eight or more team walks within a game. I will run you over to the box score just so you can see in that double B column, we have eight. And that is how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's a bit of a longer video, but follow the sliders and difficulties and attributes that I have set up for you. And we already got eight walks with, what, one out in the f second inning. So this should be a piece of cake for you. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know down below. I am more than happy to answer them. If not, I will see you guys in the next video.